Okay, so hello and welcome back. Okay, so hello and welcome back. So in this particular lesson, we want to now look at dividing integers. Well, dividing integers is essentially very, very simple, right? Dividing integers. And remember, you want to learn actively. You want to take this down. Oops, it's integers, right? Dividing integers. Okay, so let's look at that. How do we divide integers? Well, the rules for dividing integers are quite similar to the rules for multiplication. Remember, when you multiply, multiply two signed numbers, right, for example, a positive multiplied by a positive, my result will be positive, okay? And if I multiply a negative with a negative, then my result is also positive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, okay, we multiply positive times positive equals ne positive. Negative times negative equals positive. So when we multiply two signed numbers that are essentially the same, we're going to get a positive result. When we multiply two numbers that have different signs, for example, a negative and a positive, like so, negative times positive, or positive multiplied by a negative, then my result will be negative. So when the signs are different, I get a negative solution, and when the signs are positive, I get a positive solution. So let me just put that in over there. Positive times a negative is equal to that. Now the rules for division is exactly the same. So if, for example, I take negative 4, negative 4, divided by positive 2. Well, you're going to say, Mud, what we're doing over here is we first need to divide the signs. A negative divided by a positive, I go to my rules, negative divided by a positive, or negative multiplied by a positive, same rule applies, it's going to be negative. And then, I take 4 divided by 2 and I get the solution of negative 2. Similarly, if I've got positive 8 divided by positive 2. Well, I say a positive divided by a positive, exactly the same like I had for multiplication, then that's going to be positive, and 8 divided by 2, the solution is 4. Now, following the exact same rules, let's see. What if I have numbers that don't look so perfect? For example, negative 3 divided by positive 2. Well, a negative divided by a positive is going to be negative, and 3 divided by 2 is actually 1 and a half. So that's negative 1 and a half. This is exactly the same as saying negative 3 over 2. Okay. Let's take another one, just for the sake of practice. Uh, negative 10 divided by positive 5. Another way I can write that it's negative 10 divided by positive 5. Okay. And that gives me a solution of negative divided by a positive is going to be negative, and 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Okay. So that's a quick crash course on uh, dividing integers. Remember, negative divided by a negative, the solution is positive. For example, negative 6 divided by negative 3. Negative divided by negative. It's going to be positive, and 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2. Okay, that's dividing integers.